In this video, I'll be covering question one, part C from the 2018 AP Calculus AB free response calculator required portion of the test. I cover A, B, C, and D all in their own individual videos. So if you wanna see those other solutions, please check out my other videos. All right, so what they're saying on this one is for T greater than 300, what is the first time T that there are no people in line for the escalator? So the first thing we would have to do is you would want to use what you know from part B here. So in part B, we discovered how many people were in line at time T equals 300. So at time T equals 300, we know that we had 80 people in line at T equals 300. And what we're trying to do is figure out when will that number basically shrink to zero? Because if you look up at your piecewise function, the people entering the line for the escalator when T is bigger than 300 is zero. So we're not adding any new people to this line. And then for how many people are leaving is given by this, that there are the people are leaving at a constant rate of 0.7. So if we have 80 people, and we divide that by that rate of 0.7 people per second, that's gonna end up giving us the amount of time it takes to get rid of 80 people because we know we're leaving at 0.7 per second. And so if we take 80 and divide that by 0.7, luckily you got a calculator on this, you're gonna get 114.285. They usually want you to round things to three decimals for your final answers on here. So 114.286. So 114.286. And you can see that these units would work out, right? This would end up being seconds. It's one of those things, sometimes on a problem, it's the unit conversion portion of it. If you think about how this would work in terms of a division of fractions problem, thinking about it as copy dot flip, you would copy the top and you would put a dot and then you would flip that bottom set of your units there. And so people would cancel out with people and that would leave you with seconds. And so this is gonna tell us how many seconds the trick on this one, I think where a lot of people missed their point here was the fact that that's not the final answer. So that's how long it took to get to zero. But when you talk about how long since time began, we started at 300. That was, it. we had a f initial amount of time that was 300. And this was the amount after 300. So you would have to take 300, add it to this, and so in the end, we would have ended up with 414.286 seconds until we get to zero people. So don't forget when you do a problem like this that you still have all that time from zero to 300 still counts towards the final amount of time until you get to zero people in line. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.